It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the flicker shake effect in I hope you guys liked the preview, I thought this uh, shake effect was very, very cool looking basically and I'm excited to show you guys, let's get into the tutorial now. So I'm in After Effects here and I've added a footage I'm going to be using for this tutorial here and to create this shake effect here I'm going to be using Shake Sauce 2 here. And I'm going to go to a transition point, so I'm going to go to this one here. And this is a custom made uh, shake effect here. So I'm going to go to custom and I'm going to show you guys how to make it. So you're going to press this plus button here. And it's going to create this control uh, layer here. And we're going to start off by changing the position settings here. So I'm going to set the amplitude to 250. So if you double click on it, you can go in here and enter the value 250 and frequency 25 and after that you're going to press this uh, keyframe button here on both of these and then you're going to be using this forward and the backwards frame uh, buttons here so you guys can go three frames uh, backwards and set it to zero then go back to the transition point go six frames forward and then set it to zero here as well, just like that. After that, I'm going to be opening up the controls layer here, effects, shake sauce two, position, and you're going to be marking the keyframes. Press F9, and I'm going to start with the position amplitude graph here, and it's going to be a pretty simple sharp graph here. Drag the top here inwards like that, and then the bottom one into the middle as well. It's going to be sharp at the transition point. Quit the graph, do the same for the frequency here. So drag this at the bottom in like this and at the top in like that as well. So this is the quick shake we're getting here. Clean. After that we're going to go to the scale settings and you guys can see we are at the position settings here. If you press the arrow here, you're going to come to the scale settings here. And here I'm going to set the scale to 150. Press OK. Then press the keyframe button here. Go to the ending and beginning of your uh, transition and set it to zero on both the beginning and the uh, ending. Open up scale. Mark the keyframes here. Press F9. Select one keyframe. Go to graph editor. And here do the same graph as we did for the other a simple sharp graph just like this here and this is the look we got now pretty clean okay you guys can quit the graph and then we're going to go to the next settings which is going to be the flicker settings so you guys can go uh, even further here and you guys see you're at the flicker and blur settings and we're going to go to the transition point here. And here I'm going to set the flicker amplitude to 25. And the flicker frequency to 20. And then increase the flicker brightness to 5 maximum. After that you're going to be keyframing all of these uh, settings here. Keyframe them at the transition point. Then go to the uh, end. Set them to 0. Go to the beginning set it to zero as well. After that, you're going to be opening up the flicker settings, mark the top two keyframe effects here, press F9, open flicker amplitude, do the same graph as we did before, simple sharp graph, go to flicker frequency, same graph here. And now I already know how the flicker graphs and stuff like that is going to look, but uh, if you guys uh, want to adjust, you guys, also have to you know select the flicker effect of course it's going to be very bright on some spots here but i think it looks very clean with everything combined this is how the shake looks very very clean and if you guys want to save this now as a preset you guys are going to go to the transition point here press set center keyframes now you can see all of the keyframes here becomes red and after that you're going to mark all of the keyframes like that and go to the save uh, button here and here you guys can name it flicker 
shake. I'm gonna type it two because I already made one. So save. Now when I go to presets, keyframe, I can scroll down and I have the flicker shake two there. So now I can go to the other transition points. Next one here. I can double click on that one, flicker shake, and it's already going to be applied. So you just have to have your footage selected, double click on the effect. So this is the final result when you add the flicker shake effect to all of the other transition points. And I think it looks absolutely amazing. And if you guys want to check out Shake Sauce 2, it's going to be linked in the description. So you guys can go and check it out. And also don't forget to like, subscribe, share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website, editingvisuals.com, where we have editing packs that's going to help you elevate your whole editing game. Check out our socials, join our Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care, and have a nice day.